it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over, so I'm crying Hello and welcome back. Last episode, we went to Bunker Hill and we met up here, weirdly, with, uh, our son. And now we're going to go to the Institute and attend a meeting of the leaders. Like again, I believe we're getting, we're getting ready to wrap things up here in this, um, season or whatever you want to call it Just in this playthrough. Gave life to father. He gave life to many of us. Um, where are we? We're going up here somewhere. I think, right? Hold on. Let me double check. That's what it is. I wonder if I can just... Is he up here? I'm just gonna pop up here. Okay, I'm here. I think it's above. Yeah, hello? Can you get out of my way? My mommy says your father's mom, but good, we're all here. So much older than I think it's time we begin, sir. Excuse me, but can I shut this door? Exactly no, won't here? let me. I will address that issue, but there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? Um, I'm... This is another one where I'm gonna be like, of course. Of course. Really? Well, there's no shame in being out of the loop, as it were. The project has been classified for quite a long time. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. It didn't matter I what I said, I guess. Tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understatement. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? But I took well, him out. He is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven yes, more she than are. capable of handling herself. You used yes, me as an experiment. This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time... Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, 
I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Can't be please, serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. This can't be happening. I only just found you. I've had the same thoughts more than a few times. But we cannot let this stop us. Our work must continue. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Everybody get Seems your problems out. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us! She isn't even a scientist! Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This Period. Thank you. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Okay, let me grab Fillmore before I lose her. I hope she went down the stairs. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our uh, genetically engineered Busy day crops. for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Absolutely. All right, let's go over the details. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium ag agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. Ew. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you going to put up a stink, or can we get moving? She's a Karen. Sounds good. I'd appreciate the company. Not as much as I'd appreciate coming back in one piece. I don't like going above ground unless there's no other option. But here we are, with our options dwindling quickly. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and I'll meet you there. These people are bossy. I also, I guess I just don't really like the Institute because it's kind of like this pretend like la la land that everyone's living in and the real world is like, I don't know, the real world is like not like this. It's also very like hospital like. I'm not trying to be judgmental of the creators but. I think it's meant to be like overly 
good so you don't you don't like it because you're already used to like the commonwealth and stuff so you're like oh well, I have like people that I care about up there you know so when I do this I will definitely be enemies with the brotherhood Yep. I wish I would have got all the junk out of the airport first. But whatever. This should be a pretty quick quest. Just going in and grabbing the agitator. Oh, you know what? Allie's gonna meet Nick. I wonder if she'll say anything right. about him. The Brotherhood sure is here. Guess we'll have to go through them. Oh, my. Well, I wasn't expecting this. <gasps> guess it's nice to see some of our older models have been useful to you. Uh-oh, she did see Nick. That's funny. <laughs> ah! yeah. Heads up, they went dark. Why do you, why do you run? What's the reason for that? Okay, I'll grab what I need to grab. Not like this! Aren't you just a scribe? No. That's funny that she said something about Nick, because I don't, I don't know if I've ever had Nick with me before during this. I'll have to look back, because I think it just depends on it, who you choose, because the Brotherhood, when I've done this, they've never said anything. I mean, they talk crap to Nick when I go up there, but I don't know. And I do think that if Nick wasn't in this game, I don't know, would I feel the same way about synths? Like, because the rest of them, you either don't know if they're a synth, or I don't know. Like, you, I don't know. Let me get another gun, because I'm going to be shooting. Let me do the... How many missiles do I have? 83... I don't know if I want to waste them. Let's use the alien gum. Gun. Not gum. I know someone's going to come right through there. It's an ambush! Alert, glory. Ooh, I love this gun. Oh, my stranger. He was just here. You saw him, right? I like this alien gun. I've never really used it. Guess we're not alone. Oh, I can pacify him. Stop right there. You gotta be kidding me. I don't think we're alone. Couldn't stay away. Just huh? relax, tech. Follow my orders, and it'll be okay. Can't even break a sweat. Target we oh Not that it's an option. No! 
Huh, I didn't really know that was fast. Aha! Found you! Easy now. Hands up. Down our squad. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. And then I think nice. there's a hole, yep. I'm just gonna keep jumping since I power armor on. Whew, that made my stomach. I don't know why. No. Down. Please. Yeah. Ah. At Victorium. Okay. Once we get down there, it won't take very long. It's just like getting to the area takes a while. Take some radix too while I'm in here. Even though it won't do anything. Now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. You may proceed. Alright, I just need to get up here, push this button, and then grab the agitator. Okay. Security alert in the reactor chamber. Emergency lockdown initiated. Please wait. I'm gonna get sprayed real quick. Decontamination complete. I think there's a turret that I need to get. There it is. Period. Alright, I think there's some robots. Hostile Shut down. And self destruct. I love having Approach that robot and thing. Identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. Can they all get right Ambush. there? Defensive protocols. I get my fusion core real quick. Engaging. Hostile target. Okay, I'm just gonna hack you. Running close quarters subroutine. enough of all of that. Um, go up here. I think there's another robot over here somewhere. Yep. Those are more tough sometimes than the assault drones. Okay, here we go. The 
These guys just don't know when they're beaten, do they? I'll help the synth buy some time. Make sure you get back to the Institute with the Agitator. Normally I stay and help, but MPG honestly I don't care. Because right I don't want either one of these factions. So I'm just gonna leave. It says speak with Allie. I'm just gonna go to the institute. Where is it telling me to go? Let me see. Um. Oh. Is it nice telling me to bring that rogue synth back? Are you going go to tell me? Oh, okay. Mysterious phase three. No, I can't talk about this. This is where I'm supposed to be. My back here. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Okay. Dr. Fillmore? I think that was enough excitement for well ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. Okay. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. Any additional pain? Not I think this is where there's like a standoff between mm -hmm. um, Any additional pain? the Minutemen in the Institute. Okay. How's your energy level? Feeling any fatigue? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. Okay. You're sticking to the regimen we agreed upon? Are there many more of these questions? Interesting. And you've been getting extra rest? Not that I've noticed, no. I feel quite well. Okay. Any additional pain or tenderness? No more than I'd expect from a man of my age. I see. How's your energy level? Feeling any fatigue? Yes, doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. Interesting. They're just repeating. You're sticking to the regimen we agreed upon? Are there many more of these questions? <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you, doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done. You now. said it twice, my thank dude. You. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. It would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were... concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you. Regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present. And look at me. Rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to... invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. 
My mm. understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. They'll listen to me. I'll figure something out. You can consider this handled. Believe me, I already do. All this advanced technology, and we still can't cure the common cold. You know you have a point, my dude. Okay. So, let's go resolve this issue. I'm not gonna do that one. Yet. It's over by Grey Garden. The Minutemen are just like friendly to everybody. They don't like raiders and gunners, but like nobody likes them. It's over here. What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? Um... I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want, whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure him out here, since it'd be easier to kill him. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place, to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're gonna take that poor guy wherever it is they go, and we'll have failed. Again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. Um... The Institute wants the same things you do. We can find a way to work together. I don't know about that, but... Look, if nothing else, you'd best get in there and make sure that man's okay. I'll make sure no one makes a move on him in the meantime. But, well, you'd better be right about this. Okay. I think this is the doctor that made those robots. Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Everything's taken care of. You're safe. Good, good. It was bad enough that Wallace started giving us trouble, but then he called in those savages. Those are good men out there. You have no right to insult them like that. Those good men of yours wanted to kill me. Forgive me for not thinking terribly highly of them. Can we just get on with this, please? I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. If he's really important to the Institute, then it's worth it. <sighs> You're right, I suppose. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. 
No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just... well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking... maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. Okay. Mm Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. You're not stealing my organs, or shooting me into space, or whatever it is you do. I won't let you. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. Think about your future, Wallace. This is a way to secure it. I suppose that's one way to look at it. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. I wonder it's what stuck. he looks like. Okay, just for, like, funsies. I'm gonna walk through this door because I've never seen Mr. Wallace and I just want to see if I can see him. Okay, I'm gonna go through the door and just see. There he is. Yep. Well, that was just exciting, wasn't it? Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. I'm proud to help the Institute. Here's hoping it all pays off. At this point, there is no doubt. It will succeed, and very shortly. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. That's a good idea. Hopefully we can prevent violence and save some lives. Yes, that is one goal. And if you are to be the new director of the Institute, you should be the one to do it. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Mother. Okay. So in the next episode, I will record this. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, we're almost finished. I will see you in the next episode. Bye. But the cry And nobody's crying But me